Good afternoon, folks. The goal of this video is to review some key information and then at the end, offer a comparison that can illuminate the magnitude of decline in Earth's magnetic field. So recently, this has been a topic several times. They messed up big time. When they admitted that electric discharges into clouds are the most effective form of weather modification, they accidentally admitted that solar forcing via impact to the global electric circuit does everything that the solar forcing community has been saying, that the various space weather impacts to the Earth from every interaction of the Sun with the Earth, which impacts the global electric circuit, directly impacts the atmospheric electrification, which directly impacts cloud condensation, and the nuclei production of dust and water droplets being more easily produced. And that these were directly related to the hundreds of papers on solar forcing of precipitation, cloud cover, temperature, pressure cells, storms, and wind at every level of the atmosphere. They admitted it in the most accidental but enormous way. Now, after looking deeper into that form of weather modification, I found that they are aiming for a 2-3% to change in electrification of one cloud system. They don't always hit that mark, but when they do, that 2-3% to electrification can cause a 10-20% to change in precipitation, a very much amplified effect. Now, keep that 2-3% to amplification of electrification in mind. Yesterday, we went over the first data on the global electric circuit impact from the great May 2024 solar storm. We pointed out the major windstorms and flooding over the last month, and we said they were likely to have been amplified by the solar event, and now we know that's almost certainly the case. The global electric circuit impact was over the entire globe, 10 to 15 percent, not one cloud system, not two to three percent, the whole planet, and at five to seven times greater than what they say can change the weather by 20 percent. Now, as if that's not magnificent enough in terms of solar forcing of weather, I can assure you, I know the peer-reviewed literature on this topic as well as anyone on Earth. The previous big solar storms never got more than a 5-8% to 8 squeeze on the global electric circuit. The fact that this solar storm delivered a 10-15% to 15 amplification to the atmospheric electricity is unprecedented. There is no existing record of anything even close. Among all the records this solar storm set last month, this is perhaps the most critical, and not just because of what it did to the weather but because it screams weakening magnetic field, magnetic pole shift, and the increasing vulnerability of Earth. Still marching towards that end with eyes open. Subscribe and I'll see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.